In FeatureCam 2013 R3, we've introduced a new option for our 3D spiral machining. In this particular example, you can see we've got a simple cavity part, and we've got a, a roughing operation and two 3D finishing operations. I'm going to turn off the second operation and just concentrate on the first one. In this case, this is our traditional or default uh, method of 3D spiral toolpath, whereby it will take the outside profile and it will work its way in towards the centre. In this particular case, because we're machining fairly steep walls on this cavity, what we really want to do is start from the centre, work our way out, and then use the side of the tool to make our way back up that cavity. If we look at the previous behaviour, I'm just going to do a 3D simulation just go through the roughing first of all. So there's my pocket roughed out. The tool comes into position now and if I do an Alt F3 you can see we are starting from the top of the cavity. If I drop the speed of the simulation down and just play this, you can see we are working our way steadily down this cavity shape. So what we really want to do is we want to start from the centre and work our way out, coming back up that steep, steep side wall. Let's speed that up just to get to the end. So to change this, it's quite a straightforward function. If we go into the toolpath feature itself, and in this case you can see I've got Spiral 3D, and it's just simply a checkbox that says Spiral In to Out. We then replay our 3D simulation again, just roughing out the part first of all. And again, dropping my speed down. Using the Alt F3, we can see the tool now starts from the centre location and then winds its way out towards those steep areas. I can continue to play this and work my way back out of the shape. And then start moving up the side of those contours using the side cutting of the tool to machine through.